よく逃げ回ったけどいろいろと限界でしょう<笑>残念ですが重力が増えていくここからは時間外労働です What it do, guys? Space Art Jobs here, and welcome back to another Seiyu Highlights. On this episode, we're gonna talk about perhaps one of the coolest, smoothest voice in the Seiyu industry, Kenjiro Suda. You guys might be familiar with his roles, such as the replacement for Seito Kaiba from Yu Gi Oh!, Joker from Fire Force, Liroro from Tower of God. Akihito Narihisago from ID Invaded, and of course, everyone's favorite Jujutsu sorcerer returning from being a salaryman, Kenzo Nanami from Jujutsu Kaisen. But did you know that there's almost an hour of his ASMR voiceover content available on YouTube? もっとぐっすり眠れるように羊でも数えてあげようか<笑>子供扱いしてるわけじゃないよほら昔から眠れない時は羊を数えるといいって言うだろうほらこっちにおいで。ゆっくり目を閉じてじゃあ数えるね He's a Japanese voice actor, narrator, film director, and live action actor. His birthday is June 11, 1971, and he's from Osaka, Japan. Although he has been living in Jakarta, Indonesia until the age of seven, and went to Meiji University in Tokyo to pursue theater literature. Besides his enthusiasm, he's also have been wanting to make films as a movie director. His interest in filming and watching movies could be dated back to junior high when he attended theaters, although he didn't watch old western movies until his senior years in high school. He also likes performing, which prompted him to take a non degree course. Later, after graduation, he joined a theater group, which gave him a couple opportunities at auditions. And so he debuted as a voice actor in 1995, playing as Asushi Noda, a supporting character in the anime adaptations of H2. And ever since then, he has been in numerous anime roles, anime films, OVAs, dramas, movies, stage plays, video games, narrations, commercials, drama CDs, even radio shows, character songs, and dubbing roles. Featuring the overseas drama City on a Hill with other voice actors such as Fukuyama Jun. But you cannot simply talk about Kenjiro Suda without mentioning the Netflix slapstick comedy Gokushu Fudo, otherwise known as The Way of the House Husband, a notorious former Yakuza member who decided to follow the light and became a. House husband. Now, as mentioned in one of my previous videos, when Keiji Fujiwara came into a hiatus back in 2017 due to an unspecified illness, which caused his existing roles to be taken over temporarily by Suda san himself. This includes Hans from Attack on Titan Season 2 and 3. As well as Isami Enomoto from Space Battleship Yamato, which makes a lot of sense since both voice actors share a very similar quality and atmosphere. However, as in the case of Kenjiro Suda's vocal cords, it really hits Seiyu fans like myself with such a level of testosterone badassery. That even one YouTube user described it as the smoothest, 
creamiest Italian vanilla gelato. And it's true, once he gets into his character, you know he's about to deliver some world-class voice acting, like music to your ears. Especially when his range lies in a gray area between Takehito Koyasu and Usuka Hochu. Perfect for regular tone and deep, um, villain roles. Because it does sound pretty dangerous and sexy. I mean, he does look pretty intimidatingly hot too. Mm. Something that would instantly stand out to the audiences and frankly would stick around their mind for a very long time. However, like many other CUs out there, before I was fully invested into his current performances, such as Dansley from Genshin Impact, the start of his journey as a voice actor was not particularly an easy one. Many might have been familiar in terms of how the popularity of CUs are solely based on ranks, which depends on the number of years of experience in the industry. When suda sound was just a greenhorn seiyuu in his early 20s, it was very difficult to earn some recognition, even to the point when it was even tough for him to eat properly. But the man himself persevered, accepting any roles he could and focused on his craft, until he finally came across his breakout role as none other than Seito Gaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh! when he reaches the age of 29. And even to this day, Suda-san still look back to that faithful encounter of how it gave him a huge boost when entering this rough and demanding industry. The fruits of his labor came for doing the things that he wanted to do, despite previously wondering if it ever pays off, ironically it did pay itself when he was nominated as Best Lead Actor at the 15th Annual Seiyuu Awards. But that did not stop him from elevating his game. In April of 2021, he left one of his talent agency, Amuleto, and joined another one called Anster, where he expressed his interest in expanding to other activities besides voice acting, exemplified by his passions in filmmaking and theatrical productions back in the old days. This is sort of follow his success in the movie industry having done a couple of projects such as film director for a document entertainment back in February of 2019, as well as in November of 2020 when he was directing his own short film called Get Set Go, featuring prominent Japanese stars, in which he also made a cameo in the film as a screenwriter himself. These are just some of the hardworking aesthetic from one of the best CU out there, and it is something to be awe-inspiring for young people who would like to pursue the field of performing arts. You are likely gonna be scolded at or whisper a lullaby as you fall into a deep sleep by Kenshiro Suda. Whichever it is, he will be one of those god-tier-like figures in the seiyuu industry who will be endorsed by fans and co-workers alike. Whichever challenges that he may be willing to tackle in the journey ahead, whether it's voicing characters from Ace Attorney, I would simply like to wish him the best of the best. And so comes a wrap of another Seiyu highlight. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comment, and make sure to subscribe. Also, you know that I don't necessarily make frequent uploads, so if you can, Hit that bell icon so that you know when new content comes up. I'm Space Jobs, and I shall see you on the flip side.